Hello, my name is Mr. Cook. I'm one of the guidance counselors at FHS. We are so excited that you guys are coming from all the different middle schools around the area. And one question that we've been getting a lot is, is high school gonna be as good as middle school? And the answer is yes. Some people even say it's a whole lot better. I don't know. Anyway, we are here to answer all of your questions as a guidance team, so I'm gonna hand it over to Ms. Maxwell to handle the next one. So a lot of students are coming from schools where they've only had one guidance counselor or one principal or one resource teacher, and so a common question is, how will you know who your admin team, guidance team, or resource team will be? All of that is decided at Fredericton High School by your last name. So you're assigned to your guidance counselor, resource teacher, and admin based on your last name. But certainly, if throughout the course of the year you feel like you connect better to a guidance counselor who isn't normally responsible for your part of the alphabet, that certainly can be arranged. Oh, hi there. I'm Mrs. Hamilton, guidance counselor for students' last names A to D.O. at Fredericton High School. I've seen some great questions coming from your group. One of the first questions that I have here is, what is lunch hour like at FHS? Well, like a standard lunch hour, you're going to eat. You have many options of where you eat and what you eat. Some of them could be that you eat in the cafeteria. We have a great cafeteria staff, happy and ready to serve you. A lot of students like their wraps, great wrap station. Um, we also have uh, microwaves in the cafeteria if you want to bring your lunch from home. Uh, we have many tables in the cafeteria, a lot of space if you want to eat there. We also have teachers that keep their classrooms open at lunch and as long as you clean up your messes, um, they'll indicate that you can go in there and eat their lunch, eat your lunch in there and, and I guess interact in smaller groups if you like that. Some students leave for lunch. We have an open campus meaning you are allowed to leave the building at lunch hour as long as you follow the school rules and are back in time and ready to go for your afternoon classes. Um, what else are you going to do? Eating only takes about 15 minutes. You have that full hour off. A lot of students um, join clubs during that time. There's intramurals. Some students just walk around with their friends. The library is open. Um, there's, there's computer labs that are open. There's so much to do during your lunch hour at FHS. Oh, future Black Cats. My name is Mr. Dion. I'm do we get free time with other grades? Absolutely. Um, it's an open campus. Uh, classes all switch at the same time. If you have friends in older grades, you get to spend your lunches with them. Uh, breaks in between classes. Everybody rotates at the same time. So uh, if you're looking forward to older friends, uh, older siblings, being able to see them through the school, you will have opportunities to do that. Is there an admission form that grade 9 students have to complete? Actually, there's not. Your middle school will take care of transferring all of your records to us over the summer, so we will be expecting you without you filling out any paperwork. You will, though, at the beginning of the school year, like any other year, have a whole lot of paperwork to fill out with your contact information and those kinds of things on those first days of school. Hi, everyone. My name is Mrs. Langell. I'm a guidance counselor here at Fredericton High School. Uh, one of the questions that I received, um, students wondering if they would get a supply list for their courses. So, no, at FHS you don't get a supply list, uh, but on the first day of school, I suggest you bring your binder, something to write with, some loose leaf in that binder, uh, because you will be getting supply lists from each individual teacher that you have. So you'll have five classes, and they will let you know which supplies you will need for each individual class. Next question. Is yoga really a course at FHS? And the answer is yes. We have a course in yoga. We have courses in metalworking, automotive repair, culinary arts, that's cooking, fashion technology. We have history, science, math, English, we have courses for just about anything you can imagine. We're very lucky at our school. We even have a course in cross-country wrestling. Okay, I made that one up. But we have a very, uh, very wide range of courses for any interest that you can imagine. So once you get into grade 11 uh, and 12, you get a lot of choice uh, in terms of what you want to study so you can learn about the things that you want to learn about. All right, next up, Mrs. Hamilton. What's the 
the best way to meet people at Fredericton High School? Some of you will come knowing a lot of students already, and some of you will call, come from smaller schools where you only knew a few students. Some will come from an area that you don't know anybody in Fredericton because you just moved to Fredericton. Everybody's going to be in a different boat. But the best way to meet new people is to get involved in our school. Uh, join a club. By going to a club, you have something in common with everybody there immediately, whether it be the art club or intramurals. It helps you form connections by uh, already having a discussion topic. It's a great way to meet people and again, make you feel connected and a part of FHS. What is the typical daily homework load for students? That's a tough one to answer. For every student, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, some of you may have extra work to finish. Uh, some of you may have classes one semester that are a little heavier on homework than the following semester, just even depending on your strengths. But I would say, you know, at a bare minimum, you're probably looking at, for your average, average evening, one or two hours of homework. Um, sometimes you won't have any, and sometimes you might have a little bit more because of major assignments coming up. The important thing to remember is that homework isn't just what's assigned. It's about staying on top of things, maybe rereading something you learned in class or giving yourself some ex extra practice on a math uh, concept that you just learned that's new to you. Uh, it's, it's just important whether it's assigned or not, so try to stay on top of that. Another question is, do we have to get needles again? So our grade 9 students are scheduled for another vaccination or booster shot during your grade 9 year and that will all be communicated to you through your homeroom teacher when the time comes. So another question that I received was what courses do you take in grade 9? Um, so we have 10 courses throughout the entire year, 5 in semester 1 and 5 in semester 2. English is a full year course, you'll take it both semesters. You'll take math both semesters, but they're considered two separate courses. You will also take science, social studies, French, BBT, art and music will be a quarter of the year, and phys ed. This is a good one. This one came from George Street Middle School. Are all of the teachers at FHS nice, or are they mean? They're all nice. Pretty, pretty much all nice. I mean, almost, almost all of them are nice. Okay, there's except for one. If you get Mr. Swanson, watch out. Otherwise, you're gonna have a great time here. So one of our other questions that came in was whether or not there'll be some advanced math next year for our grade nines. First semester, there will not be advanced math, uh, but second semester, they will do a project-based learning math, and those classes will be determined from first semester results. Are students required to wear school IDs? Um, there's no requirement that you wear it so that it's visible or anything like that, but once student IDs are issued, um, it's important you carry them on you. Uh, if, if a teacher or an adult in the school ever asks who you are and asks to verify your ID, if you have your card on you, it just makes things a lot easier. Um, you may even need them for discounts at little local fast food joints at lunch if you leave campus. Um, so always a good idea to have those student IDs on you and you will need them for uh, admission to school dances and other fun events. Next up, uh, how did you get to be so funny? Hmm, thank you. Looking. How, how did you get to be so funny looking? Hmm. Okay, that's pretty hurtful. Next question please. A great question from students is about startup of the school year. So if all goes as planned, we will start up in September. It's usually the day after Labor Day. Um, grade nines get a day all to themselves so that they can come into the school, learn their way around, uh, not bump into any older kids except those on the SRC who might be helping out. Um, so hopefully, hope we'll see you in September. Um, if anything else changes, we'll let you know. My last question is whether or not you get a free or spare period in high school. The answer is no. You will have five courses per semester and you're expected to have a full course load. Semesters run um, September till the end of January, you write exams, and then second semester is February until June. So there you have it. Those are all the questions that we got. Um, hopefully that was helpful for you. If you have any questions at any time about anything, 
please come see us in the guidance office. Any one of us would be happy to help you. All right? We look forward to seeing you in the fall. Can't wait to meet the newest batch of black cats. Have a great summer.